This story based on a real one. Please help us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. It was the dead of winter, and the small town of Winterhaven was buried in a thick blanket of snow. The sun had long since set, and the only light came from the flickering street lamps that lined the main road. The town was quiet, almost eerily so, with the only sounds being the distant howling of the wind and the crunch of boots in the snow. It was on this night that a young couple, Sarah and James, found themselves stranded in Winterhaven. They had been driving through the area on their way to visit James' parents for the holidays, but their car had broken down on the outskirts of town. With no other options, they had trudged through the snow to seek shelter. Their luck seemed to be in, as they stumbled upon a small bed and breakfast, tucked away on a side street. The building was old, but warm and inviting, with a soft glow emanating from the windows. They hurried inside, shaking the snow off their coats, and were greeted by an elderly woman named Mrs. Williams. Mrs. Williams was the owner of the bed and breakfast, and she welcomed Sarah and James with open arms. She was a kind woman, with a gentle smile and a soothing voice. She led them to their room, which was cozy and well-appointed, with a roaring fire in the fireplace and a soft bed with fluffy blankets. Despite their initial relief, Sarah and James soon realized that something was off about the bed and breakfast. The walls seemed to be too thin, and they could hear strange noises coming from the other rooms. The creaking floorboards and whispering voices made them uneasy, and they began to wonder if they had made a mistake in coming here. As the night wore on, the noises only grew louder. Sarah and James tried to ignore them, but they couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. They decided to investigate and crept down the hallway to where the noises were coming from. What they found was a shock. The door to the room at the end of the hallway was slightly ajar, and through the crack they could see a figure standing in the shadows. It was a woman with long, dark hair and pale skin, and she seemed to be staring right at them. Sarah and James were frozen in place, unsure of what to do when the woman suddenly turned and disappeared into the room. They stood there for a moment, hearts pounding, and then slowly approached the door. They pushed it open and were met with a sight that would haunt them forever. The room was empty, save for an old wooden chest in the corner. It was large, with ornate carvings and a heavy lock. Sarah and James approached it cautiously and were about to investigate further when they heard Mrs. Williams' voice behind them. What are you doing in here? she asked, her tone harsh and accusing. Sarah and James were taken aback. They had assumed that Mrs. Williams would be happy to help them, but her sudden anger and defensiveness were unsettling. We were just looking around, James said, trying to keep his voice steady. Mrs. Williams gave them a sharp look, and then her expression softened. I'm sorry, she said. I know the house can be a bit creaky at times, but you must be tired. Come back to your room, and I'll make you some tea. Sarah and James followed her back down the hallway, feeling uneasy and uncertain. As they settled back into their room, they couldn't shake the feeling that something was very wrong. They tried to calm themselves with the tea, but it only made them more jittery. After they go to James' house, they tell the parent the story, but James' parents was choked. They tell the couple that this woman was death twenty years before.